Hey kids, welcome back to Santa Emma Secrets Online! Hi, good morning kids. Hope you guys are ready to learn something new today. But before we can learn, we have to first stand up. So get up and we're going to sing a few worship songs. And then after that, we're going to learn the Bible verse for this month of April. So I'll be waiting for you guys. I was found in chains of sin. To the hopelessness, I heard you calling now, drowning the voice of doubt. Freedom. 
So now that we've already had our time to sing and dance, now it's time to learn the Bible verse for this month of April. Ahora ya es tiempo para aprender el versículo de este mes de abril. So let's start off with English. So I want you to stand up and copy my moves. So we're going to say, how wide? So I want you to stretch your arms wide like a butterfly or like an airplane. How long? So one hand up and one hand down. Now you're going to put both hands up and high and deep. So touching your toes. Now hug yourself. Is the love. Now point to the sky of Christ. And you're going to make a book and say Ephesians 3.18. Now let's do it all together. So how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. Ahora nos toca hacerlo en español. So, cuán ancho y largo y alto y profundo es el amor de Cristo Efesios 3.18 Una vez más Cuán ancho So, hacen las manos como un avión Y largo Es ir a sus brazos y sus manos Alto Y profundo Van a tocar sus zapatos Y se van a abrazar Es el amor de Cristo Efesios 3.18 so, I hope you guys are able to follow along with me and I hope you guys are practicing at home. Because remember, at the end of the month, you guys are going to have to upload a video of you singing the Bible verse with your mom or dad or by yourself. So, be ready. And now, I hope you guys are ready for the lesson for today. So, pay close attention. And if you're at church, pay attention and then you'll do the activities that we have ready for you. And if you're at home, hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you, Zari, for the Bible verse. I hope that all of you guys enjoy worshiping the Lord and practicing the Bible steps one more time. So I hope you guys continue to practice this verse and the steps throughout the rest of the week and the rest of the month. Because remember, there is a prize that you guys could win. So now we're going to get right into the lesson. And this Bible lesson is true. So if you guys want to find it in the Bible, you guys can go to Acts 2. 42 to 47 and you guys can read it with your family with your parents with your sister You guys can read it together and learn what the Bible says about this story So I want to begin this true story about how Jesus friends wanted to love like Jesus So I want you guys to make a nice big heart with your hands and put it out right in front of you I think this is where the heart is so I want you guys to put out a heart and love, a heart represents love, right? So Jesus' friends wanted to love like Jesus. So how do you think they did that? Well, they shared. They shared all their things. They shared their things. For example, when it was cold, maybe they found a friend that was cold. You know, I want pretend that you guys are cold. Brr, it's cold. So since it was cold, they would share a coat. They will give them their coat, you know, for their friend and share with them to show Jesus' love. So I'm going to put on this coat because I was cold and a friend lent me the coat. So now I'm not as cold. So another way they shared was letting people enter their home. So there was probably a guy who needed a place to stay, a female who needed a place to stay, and they just wanted somewhere to stay, but they couldn't find where. So Jesus' friends opened their doors and allowed them to stay there. They gave them shelter, they gave them warmth. So when you're like, when you're in your bed and you're cold, you grab a blanket, right? And you cuddle up with your blanket and stay warm. So Jesus' friends gave them a place to stay and they gave them a bed or they gave them something warm to sleep with. So another way they shared was giving people their food. There were many people who didn't have food. And now we have, at this time, we have many people who probably don't have the same opportunities that we do and they don't have enough food to feed themselves. 
So we gotta be like Jesus and share our food, just like Jesus' friends share their food. So someone's hungry and they wanna eat something and you're like, I have this extra pineapple, I have this extra food, and you're gonna hand it to them so they could eat it and they could have something to eat. So Jesus' friends shared and showed the love of Jesus through sharing. So we had to be like Jesus. Who here wants to be like Jesus, right? I wanna be like Jesus. I wanna love like Jesus. Come on guys, make a heart one more time, okay? Love like Jesus. So we want to love like Jesus, and we can show that love by sharing. Sharing our coats, our home, our food, and there's so many things to share. And we could do that nowadays with so many things around us. You could share with your brother or your little sister or your older sister. You could share with your family, like your little brother wants to play with something and they don't have a toy, but you have a toy and you give them, you share it with them and you guys play together. You're showing the love of Jesus to other people. So I want you guys to say something with me. I want you guys to say, Jesus wants to be my friend forever when I ask who wants to be your friend forever, okay? So I'm gonna ask, who wants to be your friend forever? And you guys are gonna say, Jesus wants to be my friend forever, okay? You guys are ready? Who wants to be my friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. So I hope that you guys liked this lesson and learned that we had to share. A sharing is a way to show Jesus love. And we want to be more like Jesus, right? So I want you guys to bow your heads and we're going to say a quick prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, I ask that you share, that you teach us how to share and teach us many ways so we could spread your love, so we could show other people who probably haven't felt your love and show them how it feels to be loved by Jesus. Allow us to grow in you, grow to be like you every single day and in your path. Allow us to take this lesson throughout the rest of our lives and allow us to practice the verse and take that verse throughout the rest of our lives and let it grow in us. In the name of Jesus, amen. So I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.